Hey, good Friday morning to you. I'm CBS 5 meteorologist Molly Matat. Here's the almanac from yesterday. We had 64 degrees for a high, plenty of sunshine in the afternoon. My oh my, how this trend is going to switch, not only for today, but for the weekend. We're going to lose probably around maybe a little less than 10 degrees from yesterday's high to today. We're back into the 50s. And then we're going to lose another 10 degrees by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday. Much cooler air has moved into central New York. We do have a shower threat today off of Lake Ontario. Isolated bands of showers are developing off of Lake Ontario. Then as we head towards the second part of the day, we'll hit our high early in the afternoon. Then much cooler air is reinforced into central New York. We're looking at 40s for the weekend. And that means we have our first shot at some wet flakes across central New York. We'll get into more detail about exactly where those will be. But before you get all worried about this chilly weekend, we rebound so nicely for next week. Temperatures are back near normal, even a little bit above normal with a lot more dry time. As of 11 a.m., this is the lake effect band that's coming off of Lake Ontario on Triple Doppler, brought to you by Cayuga Community College. And this is what's kind of acting as a nuisance. You can see to places south of Syracuse, not necessarily plenty of sunshine, but we're all dry. Places to the north, a few lake clouds, but all dry. We're going to watch this band for the rest of the afternoon because this should be one of our only sources of precipitation through the afternoon, and then things change. All of this is powered by a huge area of low pressure that's ushering in cooler air into central New York. It's bringing with it a couple cold fronts. The first one has already passed through. The second one is on our doorstep. It's going to turn and sweep through central New York. That's where we're expecting more widespread showers, the line of showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder to move through central New York. After it passes by, that's our weekend weather. Nice and chilly and you can see the snow is on the radar. That's coming to us, not for everybody, but we will see at least a few flakes here in central New York. So we'll pick up the future cast at 12 p.m. That band of showers is separated from the lake and retreats southward. It'll breeze through central New York. We get some dry time and some peaks of sunshine by 5 o'clock. That cold front pushes through. You can see it comes with some heavy showers at times. Again, maybe a rumble of thunder. The risk for that looks to remain uh, to the north of Syracuse. We're unsettled and then look at what the future cast does. It brings in that cool air quickly and what that's going to do is any isolated showers that pop up during the day on Saturday and into the day on Sunday have the chance to mix in some wet snow showers, the blues and the pinks. That's mixed precipitation on the future cast. Best chance for any accumulation. Ground's a little warm in central New York, so not a lot of it will stick. But if it does, it'll be in the higher elevations in the hills to the south of Syracuse and up to the north in the Tug Hill Plateau. Where do we go from here? It's a blustery few days. Wind chills in the 30s for Saturday and Sunday. Hard freeze Sunday night. Then look at that. Back into the mid-60s for the week.